Hello everyone, Mike here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a Final Cut Pro library on your external hard drive. So first open up Final Cut Pro. As a default, you'll see a library that resides on your local hard drive. But you want to make a new library inside your external hard drive. So let's go to Files, New, Library. Make sure that you click on to your external library that you connected. I mean external hard drive you connected let's name it final cut pro external projects and you click save and here it made the library inside your external hard drive from here make sure to change certain settings if you go to the right you'll see library properties click on modify settings next to storage location media should be in library motion content you have to have it in the library. I'll come back to what these are. Cache, library, backup. I just leave it like this and you click OK. So and after that is basically the same thing. You just go on your event, make a new project. Let's name it test and 1080p, blah, blah, blah. OK. And let's bring in some media footage. Command I. I have a short clip on my desktop. Make sure to pick the event that is under your library that you just made inside your external hard drive. So make sure that you copy it to the library because that way you don't need the original media to be present in order to edit anywhere you go. So import selected, we'll import the file, and then, you know, it's like, basically same thing but here you know earlier we made the motion content inside the library instead of motion template folder as a default Final Cut Pro saves all your your let's say transition effects and title and all those kind of like you know stuff inside your movie folder motion templates if you want to take this external hard drive to somewhere else and edit it on a different machine with Final Cut Pro, they're obviously not going to have all that transition and effects that you have. So what you do is you go to Finder, go back to your motion template folder. You drag it and select all, all of your transition or whatever you have in here. Copy and let's go back to your external hard drive and the library that you created in there. Right click, show package content and in here you'll see, see another motion template. So double click that and you paste the three items onto that folder. So now let's uh, restart Final Cut. It has to load all that motion templates. Here is the external library, my projects and thing here. So if you go to a different Final Cut and in order to access your effects and transition, click on this right here, the drop down menu, and you'll see your name of your library. You click on this, you'll see all your effects that you just copied. So any anywhere you go, any Final Cut program you use, you'll be able to access the transitions and effects that you are used to using. So that's it for today, guys, and thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and if it did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions other than what I talked about, please comment down below. I'll try my best to help you guys out. And like always, have an epic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.